This is Dr. James Johnson of the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center where we specialize in the non-invasive use of the laser to treat vitreous floaters. I've been asked by a few people to see more of these videos that uh, are my view through the laser treating these vitreous floaters. A few points of interest here that those little red lights you see uh, right on the surface of that vertical strand of the floater are my focusing lights. That's what I use to focus uh, quite accurately on the surface of these floaters. Uh, focusing a little further back, about four or five millimeters in front of the optic nerve, is the outline of a Weiss ring floater, named after Dr. Weiss. And uh, this, the patient described as a battleship cruiser. That's what he saw. It was driving him absolutely crazy. So uh, you'll see me going in with the laser and starting to break that up into smaller and smaller pieces. You'll see some uh, uh, gas bubbles starting to disperse off and float up and out of the way. Uh, interestingly, the patient usually sees those as some dark spots that appear to be falling. Well, actually, vision is reversed in the eye, so what I see as floating, they see as falling. Uh, I go back and, and little bit by little bit start to break that up. Uh, it's kind of a two-step process. The, the initially, the floater is broken up into smaller pieces, and then, then I go back individually and break those up and start to vaporize those, and that's where the gas bubbles come from. When all is said and done, there really should be less material in there. There's less stuff to create to create and cause floaters, uh, which is a boon for the patient. The view is not very good here through the video. Of course, I have a three-dimensional view using both my eyes through the optics of the laser, uh, and the, the human eye has a greater dynamic range as well, so uh, the view is much much nicer for me. Uh, I've switched to a different area of the same eye. This is a little uh, softer, more cloud-like. Uh, this is more towards the front of the eye in a much safer region to treat, so I'm able to fire off uh, the treatments a little bit faster here uh, with great confidence. Uh, again, large burst of bubbles, the material itself is breaking up. Uh, this patient did very well after one treatment. Oh, there's a, a, a fr freeze frame of the plasma bubble that's formed, a bright spot that happened to be caught. And these are uh, a cluster of micro gas bubbles, again, uh, from that area floating up and out of the way. Uh, this patient did particularly well. The, uh, the battleship cruiser that he saw is now gone after one treatment. This little area that I'm working on, I think there's some residual left behind, um, maybe 10% or so, and we're going to go back and do another, another touch-up at his convenience. So this is what I do. I treat vitreous floaters. There's only a few of us in the country that do so, and even fewer uh, that do it with any kind of regular basis. I've uh, dedicated my practice to the non-invasive treatment of these vitreous floaters, and it's an honor to uh, be one of the few providers doing so. My practice in Irvine, California is dedicated to the treatment of vitreous floaters. There are more videos like this, as well as conversations with patients, available at my website, www.floaters.com. I look forward to talking to you.